Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? This is your real Bezo here, and I hope you're having a great day. And yesterday, I bet on some NFL games. I kind of bet big to win big, per se. So uh, I'm going to break it down for you right here. So basically, I put down $935 to win $6,619.02. So basically, the Patriots game was a Sherlock. I put that as a money line. The Giants won on Thursday by more than 3.5 points. That means minus 3.5 means they have to win by more than 3.5. And then the Bills, I thought were going to hammer the Dolphins, but they could lose by two and a half or two points and still win. So the game I was worried about was the Steelers-Rams game. So I'm going to break down that game for you in detail. So basically, it was a really, really low scoring game. Low scoring game. It was like within three or six points the whole game. And then Ben Roethlisberger, uh, who is known for raping women in bathrooms at clubs, uh, gets hurt, who is arguably one of the best quarterbacks in the league, gets hurt. So then that leaves Michael Vicken, who used to be amazing, but I mean, he hasn't really done anything in like a, a good amount of years. So you don't really know what to expect out of him. You don't know if he's going to move the ball. You, you really don't expect him to move the ball or produce big numbers, basically. He doesn't have the speed that he used to and all that. So basically, I did this after I found out the dog killer, Michael Vick, was coming in. Yo, dog killer! I need you to step up, dog! Let's go, Vic, baby! This is for my 7K bet, boy! So basically, you went from a rapist to a dog killer, 0 to 100, real quick. And basically, Michael Vick didn't do much, but he made one very big, like, 30-yard, 25-yard pass when they were, like, deep in their own zone, like the 15 or 20 or something, to put them in better position. Like, you didn't expect them to move the ball, but he put them in better field position for when they would be on defense. So basically, it came down to their defense and this catch that was under review. Here it is. The ruling on the field has been reversed. The ball hit the ground. <laughs> so pumped when that happened because I basically knew I won my bet because all the Bills had to do was beat the Dolphins and I honestly knew the Bills, despite what people were going to say, I knew the Bills were going to literally hammer the Dolphins who just lost to the Jaguars and the Bills basically beat the Patriots. Like I was pumped. Michael Vick had one big play and he played very smart with the ball, didn't turn the ball over, so I, so I was just really happy. And like a good man always does, he's very thankful. So this is what I did after for the Steelers defense. Note that ironically, I was wearing their colors, not even on purpose. Sucking dick isn't the only thing I get on my knees for. I'm praying you. Thank you, Steelers defense. Thank you. So the only game that was left was the Bills game. And like I predicted, the Bills literally ripped the Dolphins' anal tissue apart. So basically, I won my near 7K bet. And then for the night game, I decided to just do a little fun bet and bet on Denver. And I also won that one. I'll show you that one right now. So basically, Denver had to win by three, and I believe they won like 24 to 12, I believe. So basically, I won 7K yesterday. Uh, I did a lot, a lot of research this week, to be honest, and with my boy Trizzy, former pro. Uh, I'm not sure if you know him from like Black Ops 1. He was on that team. I forgot the team. I think like XGN, that beat Complexity. He helped me out with the, the Giants pick a lot because I was skeptical about that game. So shout out to him. And uh, yeah. When you bet on sports, you got to do a lot of research. Like, it's like a lot of it is kind of luck, but like, you know, if you have a prepared mind, you're in an advantage to begin with. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a good day and peace out.